Toads can fly. Toads can fly, said Harry, who was a toad himself. Toads can fly, and I'd be the first one to prove it. He turned his plump, brownish body towards the bank and leapt. Landing amongst the tall grass, he continued his way until he reached a fallen tree, and in one bound was atop it. My fellow amphibians, today is the day when you will see a toad fly high into the sky and I'll be right, Harry declared. He steadied himself, readied himself, and focused all his energies on jumping as high and as far as he could. His jump was spectacular. The timing, sublime. And up he went, and down again. Ah, nuts! Harry cried, for he knew what he'd done. I'll need to be higher, and higher I'll go. So, back onto the tree, and in another leap, he was now on a chair. Nobody knew why it was there. Harry now readied himself, and steadied himself, and energies were assigned. Then up he did go, but still without flight. Shucks, I say shucks, I'm not far up enough, he bemoaned. So up onto the tree and then up to the chair and he jumped into a hammock which was in the air that wibbled and wobbled, but Harry, this did not scare. Now, he said, feeling a little bit sore, for the effort before had him hard hit the floor. I have sufficient height to easily take flight. So... He readied himself and steadied himself. His spent energy soon meant his biggest fall yet. Ow, 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 shoot! I'm such a fool, for I jumped much too soon. It was here, now in pain and being dejected again, that Harry the Toad should have said no. But with, uh, with, sent, with car sense aside, the Toad once more did rise to the tree and the chair and the hammock in the air, but rather than stop, to a treetop he hopped, his biggest jump yet. Now this, he said with a voice full of glee, is high enough space to jump, so I shall ready and steady myself for flight. Am I right? There was silence down below, and for the first time his eyes did go, look to the ground. It was too high, much too high for Harry. Now fear set in, and he was too fearful to do anything. The hammock was out, it kept moving about, and the height from the chair was a total nightmare. And forget about the fallen tree. Harry sat and cried. He wished he'd never tried. That day a toad died in a tree high in the sky, trying to prove that toads can fly.